Vincent, today BG Group and the oil and gas group came out with some figures on their production which seem to be down. Um, this doesn't look that good for the company, but how worried should investors be? Well, I think what happened today was that there was a very small revision to production numbers for 2014. That's next year's sort of what they estimate their total production will be. Um, it's down by about maybe 30,000 barrels equivalent a day. Um, it's still, it, it, BG will still be producing a lot of oil and gas um, next year, about sort of 700,000 barrels or maybe more. But it has basically, it, um, it's, it's been hit by delays in Egypt and Norway and that has impacted on the uh, on the production numbers. So it's not a big operational um, uh, setback, but it is very disappointing, I think. Okay, um, what's caused this setback? And is this something um, specific to BG Group or are other majors also suffering from production declines? Oh, every, every major is suffering um, and in, in various ways um, from production declines, from the inability to sort of replace reserves um, on, a, on a sustainable basis, etc. But BG really has, this is the third time in the year that um, its production numbers have, have been revised downwards. So essentially it overestimated the, its production capacity over a period of years and now it's having to, to cut it back. Um, and uh, it's, I think, reflective of just how dependent BG is on other oil and gas companies to deliver their side of the bargain for BG to meet its targets. So that's a difficulty it has that the likes of BP or Shell don't have because they are the operators. In BG's case, it is very much dependent on, in Brazil, for example, on, on, on Petrobras. So it's not as independent um, in terms of manoeuvre as it would like to be. Okay, and am I right in thinking its valuation has run up quite a lot in the past on sort of big production um, targets that they were setting? So surely this this means they're going to have to adjust that. Well, yes. I mean, BG is, it became a very valuable company because it had a very successful exploration and discovery record over a long period of time, like fifteen or twenty years. I mean, it was out there finding oil and gas in sort of frontier areas and places where no other oil and gas companies went, and it has a huge asset um, portfolio as a result of that. That's very valuable. But um, uh, it, it now is at the point where it's kind of transitioning from discovery and exploration into production and is finding it quite tough. Okay, so overall, these reduction figures, the revised down today, is not a, a huge deal, but in um, combined with the other ones, it is a, a bigger deal and it could lead to a re-rating. Thanks, Vincent.